U.S. Britain raise Hong Kong at UN Security Council, angering China. Here's a summary of the article. New York, the United States and Britain raised China's plan to impose new security legislation on Hong Kong at the UN Security Council on Friday, prompting China and Russia to criticize the United States for excessive use of force against black people. The 15-member council informally discussed Hong Kong in a closed virtual meeting after China opposed a U.S. call on Wednesday for a formal open council meeting, arguing that it was not an issue of international peace and security. U.S. Ambassador Kelly Kraft asked, are we going to take the honorable stand to defend the human rights and the dignified way of life that millions of Hong Kong citizens have enjoyed and deserve, or are we going to allow the Chinese Communist Party to violate international law and force its will on the people of Hong Kong? China's parliament on Thursday approved a decision to move forward with legislation that democracy activists, diplomats and some in the business world fear will jeopardize Hong Kong's semi-autonomous status and role as a global financial hub. Diplomats said Russia and China responded during the council discussion by criticizing the United States over the Minneapolis killing of an unarmed black man, seen on video gasping for breath while a white police officer knelt on his neck, and its handling of growing unrest. Why U.S. denies China's right to restore peace and order in Hong Kong while brutally dispersing crowds at home. Russia's deputy UN ambassador Dmitry Polyansky posted on Twitter after the council discussion. China's UN ambassador Zhang Jun said in a statement after the meeting that the United States Britain should mind their own business, adding that any attempt to use Hong Kong to interfere in China's internal matters is doomed to fail. This post received a score of 10,000 with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than New York Reuters The United States and Britain raised China's plan to impose new security legislation on Hong Kong at the UN Security Council on Friday, prompting China and Russia to criticize the United States for excessive use of force against black people. Lol. I find it funny that the response of a world government and some of their most senior foreign officials is no different than the usual whataboutisms that we see on social media. Every country uses what about sims to defend itself, it's just a matter of who accuses someone of something first. Oh also a matter of who fucking murders journalists like Russia and China versus abuses like unnecessary arrests. Let's not all sides are the same this please when autocratic fucks like Mr. Poo and Putin are involved. You forgot Saudi Arabia. True but this moment was specifically Russia and China. Imagine if the Saudis were invited to this UNSC session. Do they get to bring bone saws in this thought experiment or no? USA and Britain, you can't just take away humans' rights. Russia and China, well you kill black people. World politics is like a YouTube comments section. China also hates black people. And any foreigners on that matter. Even foreigners with a Chinese descent, they treat them differently as well. Mainland Chinese is very very racist and their government supports it. China certainly doesn't care about black people, they simply see our racial divisions as a vulnerable target. Unfortunately, they are correct. I'm not sure why we didn't point out the fact that tons of black people were being evicted in China and barred from businesses for spreading the coronavirus. China would just say, but at least they are still breathing, right? Better to not play the game of whataboutism. It's a fallacy for a reason. I mean that's true but it does make the US look hypocritical. This tactic was also used during the Cold War, and it's a fair point. Let's be real, what's going to happen is that the US will attempt to pass a resolution, the UK and France will support, and China and Russia will veto. Tale as old as time. As a British person I hope our government does the best it can do give Hong Kongers support. I would be happy to accept the proposed 300,000 here. Possibly more. The now widened it to all 2.9 MBNO holders. I'm sure the people that just voted for Brexit because of they didn't want immigration from mainland Europe would love more immigrants especially non-white ones. BNOs are seen as being part of the old Commonwealth. So I believe they'd be quite welcome. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.